Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to another Python tutorial. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to do a string format and I'm going to teach something in, you know, some advanced topics in the format. So look at the sentence here. The sentence is the number of products sold today is 35 to five retailers. It was sold to five different retailers amounting 1,20,000. So there are three different data which is available and this data can change tomorrow. Tomorrow it could be a different value and day after tomorrow again it, this could be a different value. So in such a case when only portion of a string is changing in that case what we generally suggest to go with the curly braces. Replace all those values with the curly braces. Okay. So I'm replacing all the values with the curly braces. Now anytime whatever the new values are coming, I can pass it something like this text and I can say text dot. I can say format. You need to format this. How you want to pro format? The first value, the first curly braces what is there? There you send the value 35. The product sold today is 35 to let's say 10 different retailers amounting let's say 180,000. Okay, so three values I am passing. Now, if you want to see the value, you can do a print. Use the print command and say text, control S and run it. So, what are you finding here? The number of products sold today is 35, 10 retailers amounting 1,80,000. Okay, so this is happening. Now, let's say I want to say, I want to replace this. So, what is happening? The moment you are passing the data something like this, the first value get the index number 0 index number 0, the second index number 1, the third index number 2, 0, 1, 2 and it will continue how many arguments you would like to pass. So here let's say I want to put the number of retailers here if I say 0 and here if I say 1 and if here if I say 2, look at the difference what's going to happen, okay. Control S and let me quickly run this. The moment you run this, you will find the value which was previously going to this area sold today is 35 now this is going to this area so remember this can be interchanged depending on our requirements let's say it may happen on a day number of products sold is 35 and also your number of retailers are also 35 so you don't want to pass the same value twice so what i can do here because this is there in the index number 0 i will say index number 0 correct and to number of retailers is also the same let's say it is if it is happening so you can manipulate just like this and here because there are two arguments the value of this will become one so I will say one getting it control s and run this so what is the output the number of products sold today is 35 to 35 retailers amounting so and so value this value that you are passing this could be a variable this could be a string this could be direct values okay like I have shown. So this is more of a little bit of experiment for you to understand how when you are passing these arguments, all these arguments has a position. The first one starts with index number 0. We call it in programming language index number rather than position you say index number is 0, index number is 1, index number is 2 like that. So here depending on the requirement, what would happen if I pass all 0, 0? Again, it will just do its job, it, will, it is going to pass 0, 0. If I am not using this, even that's fine, control S, let's run this, you can see, sold today 35 to 35 retailers, amounting 35, okay, all this can happen. So once you know how it works, that is more important, how it works. So once you know, you can utilize the way it is required for a situation. Thank you guys for watching it, we are going to meet again in our next video. Please do subscribe to my channel for more such Python tutorials. Thank you, bye-bye.